So um, again, the number one thing to remember is DX describe is very useful when you're trying to figure out um, information about, uh, about a particular app. So this is an app that is called FastQC. And you can use this to run some basic, um, some basic QC. So here we can run, we can, we can basically utilize that app um, using DX run app dash fast QC. And we need to give it a, a reads file as input. Um, and so how do we know that this, it requires this argument? Um, so you can basically use a, um, a DX, you can look at DX describe app fast QC, um, and it will give you more information about what the arguments are to run a particular app. So running an app is always done with DX run, and then the name of the app, um, so it always is prefaced with app dash and the name of the apps, which is FastQC. Um, I'm not going to run this um, on the machine, but I will show you some particulars of running apps. Um, so here we're going to do a DX run. And if you have a JSON file um, in the format that uh, FastQC is expecting, um, you can use that as an input as well. Um, rather than passing in all of this, this information as, as in these kinds of arguments. So let's try DX describe. And then our app is called app dash fast QC. That gave a lot of information. Um, so let's just code to the very top. So this is all information about um, about our particular app that were of interest. So this is a, a QC, it generates a QC report on the reads data. And if we scroll down, um, you can see that we have, um, there's a particular inputs to our file. And so we have this input called reads. So when you are kind of providing that, as an argument um, to specify that's an input, you will use a dash i, uh, put a dash i in front of it. So it the reads file would be dash i reads. So um, last thing about job, so working with jobs is when you, you are running jobs um, on the platform using DX run, uh, you will want you may want to kind of find um, all of the jobs that are currently running on the platform, and you can do that with DX find jobs. So this will, by default, it will return the last five jobs that you have run on the platform um, in a particular project. So let's clear the screen again. So if we run DX find jobs here. You can see that these were the last set of jobs that I ran on the platform. So you can, this is very useful. So you can see, you know, particular jobs that have uh, have run, or whether particular jobs have failed. Um, you can use this dash n argument to increase the number of results. Again, um, if you add the dash dash JSON argument. This re will return it as JSON, which may be easier to kind of work with. Um, and so this is a very long JSON file, um, but you can see that it is kind of nested. Um, and you can see that this is a particular job ID. This is the app that was run um, with that job ID and more information for it. 